Hello everybody, I am going to review the Axis with a Z brushless gimbal. It is sold by HeliDirect at $149, which is a pretty good price for brushless gimbals. We will be doing an unboxing, assembly, and test flight. When you open the box, you see there are three packages in there. The first package contains the gimbal controller, along with some other cables that we'll get into later. The second package is the carbon fiber, and the third is a foam box containing a lot of CNC machine pieces. Okay, let's open up the first package here and see what we have. It looks like the gimbal controller, amongst other things. It's the gimbal controller with the FPV to camera cable along with your servo outputs for your tilt and roll control. And don't forget the IMU. Let's go to the second package here. In the second package, we have the plates and the camera holder. And in the foam package, we have the motors, the CNC machine parts, along with some dampeners and some carbon rod. Next up, we have the build. The first part is doing the camera holder, the cradle as it's called, and the bottom motor. Then you build the arm that connects to the cradle, as you can see. Thereafter, you attach the bottom plate of the mount. After you mount it to the bottom plate, you put in the rubber grommets and mount it to the top plate and mount it to your helicopter. Before powering up the gimbal, make sure all connections are correct. When the receiver of your multi-copter is on, it will pick up the signal that the transmitter is giving it and pass it on to the gimbal using the cable provided. The provided receiver cable will allow both your roll and or your tilt to connect to your receiver allowing your transmitter to have control of it mid-flight. This is a feature of the Zenmuse gimbal and is not common amongst more affordable brushless gimbals. As you can see the camera perfectly level during startup. Here's the setup on the helicopter from top to bottom, bottom to top. And next, I'd like to test the gimbal. This is when the gimbal is plugged in and the IMU is turned on. As you can see, the camera is maintaining a direction. I got to approximately 300 feet and had a safe landing. The Axis brushless gimbal for its price is a true steal. I found its installation and assembly quite simple, 
and its operation, as you can see in this video, is also very strong. Thank you HeliDirect for the opportunity to review the Axis Brushless Gimbal, and thanks for watching.